You know the feeling, don't you? Working on something and the deadline is getting closer and closer. You just seem to be working around the clock. But before you know it, your hard work pays off and you're finally done. All you have to do now is just check through everything one last time and then you're ready to print. However, as you get to the printing menu, you notice, hang on, I've got no printers available. This could be potentially problematic. First of all, do not panic. The way I see it, you have two options. You can either handwrite it, although this might take some time, or you can solve the problem by going to devices and printers. Click on the start menu, hit the control panel button, and in the control panel, look for devices and printers. Once we're here, we can establish that there are no printers installed. So to solve your problem, the first thing you need to do is note your printer's model number. We're gonna need this in a moment. Access your printer manufacturer's website, in our case, that'll be HP, and look for a section of the website that deals with support and drivers, and then look for something that says drivers and software. This is where you need to enter your device's model number. And make sure, if given more than one option, you choose the exact model. The next thing you'll have to do is select your operating system. Make sure you know whether it's 64 or 32-bit. You should then see a link for drivers for your printer. Click on that. You'll be given the option to download this driver, proceed with that, and it shouldn't take more than a few minutes. As soon as the download is complete, run the exe file. It should begin extraction, and soon after this, the installation process will begin. All you have to do is follow a few simple steps, and then when prompted, choose the printer you wish to install. Very soon after this, you will receive confirmation of a successful printer installation. Right, we're getting on track now. The next thing you want to do is set up this newly installed printer as your default printer. Head on back to the Devices and Printer section, select your printer, right-click on it, and select Set as Default Printer. Great, now that that's done, let's give our printing job one more try, shall we? As you can see, we're being notified of the printing job taking place. And, if you want physical confirmation, our page seems to be coming out of the printer. So earlier, if you chose to handwrite it, you're probably still writing now. But, for those of you that chose to solve your problem, it's job done. If you want to avoid this kind of problem in the future, head over to driverdownload.org. Get yourself a driver update utility. This utility will manage and update your drivers for you. So check it out today and save yourself some hassle for the future.